Hi everyone, this is Phone Arena. We're doing a uh, speed test comparison uh, with the uh, internet and data between the new uh, Samsung Galaxy uh, 10.1 tablet on the left and the Apple iPad 2 on the right. The uh, Galaxy tablet is using Verizon's 4G LT network while the iPad 2 is just using standard 3G eVideo. So we're going to start the first test here. Right now the uh, Samsung tablet is pulling in right around uh, 6 megabits per second while the iPad 2 is about 1.2 on the download and the upload speed on the Samsung is right around uh, 3 to 4 megabits per second and the iPad 2 is about 0.4 to 0.5 megabits per second on the upload. Okay, so as you can see, pretty uh, significant difference here. We'll just run it again real quick. Again, the Samsung now pulling in right around 8 megabits on the uh, download. iPad 2 is to hair over 1 megabit. And the upload on the Samsung is at a 4.72 megabits per second. And on the uh, Apple iPad 2, the upload's going to be see here right around point, uh, point 0.3 megabits per second on the uh, upload so right away you can tell there's a definite uh, speed uh, advantage here with the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 uh, running on the uh, 4G network. Uh, next up we're going to uh, load up the uh, browsers on each. Um, since the uh, Apple iPad 2 doesn't support flash We've already uh, disabled uh, the Flash uh, plugin on the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab, uh, just so right now neither one is going to load uh, Flash uh, content. It will, they both will load Java, but not Flash. So we're going to bring up our uh, bookmarks here. Uh, first site we're going to load is the uh, phonearena.com website. As you can see, the Samsung tablet is pretty much already loaded up. The iPad 2 is still continuing to load. And it's fully done here on the Samsung. The iPad 2 is still loading. And it's done. So we're going to refresh the page here. Well, actually what we'll do is we'll go to a uh, different page. Samsung Galaxy Tab already loaded it up. And it's done on the Samsung. The Apple is still loading. Well, the Apple, okay, it's done on the Apple here, but as you can see, both of them uh, support a pinch to zoom on here. Both of them actually kind of interface uh, pretty equally with the uh, kinetic scrolling on uh, both. Uh, seem to work uh, pretty well here. And we'll load back up here to the uh, home page. So both of them do uh, really well here with the uh, internet and with the uh, scrolling, but of course the Samsung running the uh, 4G is going to uh, load up pages a bit faster. So let's load up a, uh, another website here. We're going to go to the uh, uh, New York Times site. Okay, it's completely done here. Well, okay, about two seconds actually difference in uh, time there on the uh, New York Times site. We'll zoom in and uh, load up a uh, separate report on here. Uh, 
already loading up here on the Samsung and now loading up on the uh, iPad 2. Okay, we'll try a, uh, another bookmark we got here for uh, National Geographic. Okay, it's uh, pretty close here actually. Okay, done on the, well they both actually uh, finished uh, pretty, uh, pretty much identical there on this particular site and we'll load up a uh, news story load up another story here and uh, we'll go back to the uh, home page So it does kind of depend on the uh, the site. Some of them do seem to load uh, pretty much uh, the same speed, while other ones uh, you might get a uh, uh, five to ten seconds faster loading on the uh, Samsung uh, Galaxy Tab. So what we're going to do now is uh, re-enable the uh, Flash plugins on the Samsung. and we're going to go back to the uh, Phone Arena site. And it's actually done here on the iPad 2. The uh, Samsung is still loading. Continuing to load. So it does seem that, yeah, it is taking a little bit longer here because it's, uh, okay, just finished because it's downloading uh, Flash uh, content. We'll uh, click on a review here. And they almost look like they're almost done. See which one is going to end up winning. And the iPad 2 wins for this one. Uh, the uh, Samsung is still loading, just finished. About four or five seconds, their difference. Um, but since the uh, Samsung is having to uh, download and process uh, Flash, um, that seems to be why it's uh, taking a little bit longer on the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab. But uh, you do have a flash support on it. We'll go back into our bookmarks here again. Try the uh, New York Times site once more. Then on the iPad 2 and then on the Samsung. Not a uh, big difference there on uh, speed between those two with uh, flash on and uh, the flash turned off. And now we'll go back to the uh, National Geographic site.
done on the iPad 2 and now done on the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab. So um, there is speed differences here. Um, of course with the uh, Samsung um, probably going to be running it with the uh, flash enabled on there just so you get the uh, full uh, web experience. Uh, but with the uh, 4G LTE uh, the speed is uh, pretty good like we said. It downloads you're going to uh, get anywhere between a 6 to 8 uh, megabits per second um, for downloads and uploads anywhere between uh, 3 to 4 while the uh, iPad 2 is running right around 1 to 1.2 megabits per second on the uh, download and only about 0.3 to 0.4 megabits per second on the uh, on the uploads so as you can also see there's a difference there on the uh, the screen size with the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 and the Apple iPad 2. So if you want to check out some more information about both devices, be sure to head over to our website at phonearena.com.